videos back to work um all this week but this is the first official vlog where we get to talk like this me and you back so yeah let's have a catch up i've been having the most wholesome time in the august and i just really really needed it also ash has been having a break from doing some of the renovation work as well so don't worry you've not missed out on anything there's not really been much going on we just took a break together really and it's been just wholesome and family time and sometimes you just need that R&R &R. but like I said I'm back for the autumn my soul feels like it's waking up ready for the autumn and yeah I just can't wait to get stuck in to all of the coziness all of the magic that autumn brings and we're going to start in today's video. We're going to do some little decorating in this video. We're going to do it slowly though, because I feel like we've still potentially got some good weather coming. I've heard on the grapevine. So yeah, we don't want to go full on in autumn cozy mode, just in case, just yet. Also, I have got some renovation updates. Like I said, we've had a little bit of a break. We've just started picking it all back up again now. So there's no like real major things happened in the house but what i'll do is give us a quick like home update tour of what's been going on renovation wise later on today anyway i've had the most exciting delivery this morning that i thought we could open together guys i'm so excited to have a look at this packaged up really really well on first impressions so this guys is excitingly from a brand called read your heart and they specialize in lab grown diamonds and gemstones as you know i have a diamond engagement ring and i got engaged years ago and although i love 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 my ring it is the most beautiful ring it took me bloody so long to get it it's the most beautiful engagement ring ever i don't think i'd choose that shape if i got engaged today and you know what it's nice to switch things up a little bit just to give myself a break maybe when that one's being cleaned and it'll be no surprise to you guys that i chose a moissanite lab grown engagement ring we'll open that in a minute so excited but yeah it comes with all these gorgeous little touches we've got an information booklet there very thick very well made we've also got a polishing cloth and we have the gra moissanite certificates and information grading information so inside here we have the grading certificates the color of the stone the cut all the information and the grading reports in there it also comes with a little gift bag packaging beautiful rope detail the color is insane and obviously you can pop that in there with that and i know what you're all thinking susie just show us the ring oh my god this is so exciting so this is the hidden halo moissanite triple row engagement ring Oh wow, that is so beautiful, guys. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> Even Ralph is excited. He's like, what? <laughs> that is stunning. I don't know if you'll be able to see properly on there, but I will put some cutaways in better lighting so you can see it up close and personal, but that is stunning. 
So the moissanite stone was first discovered in a meteorite straight from the stars and scientists developed and perfected the stones in the lab. They have the same hardness and fire as a real diamond but the price is only a few tenths and I'm particularly interested in how they compare to real diamonds as they're obviously a better choice from a sustainable point of view. So they're mining free, value for money and the durability is fantastic. So let's pop it on you guys and see what it looks like on the ring finger. Oh wow, it's really pretty, isn't it? Wow. Do you know what as well, guys? It's really quite heavy. And you can choose, like I said, the carrot, the size of the ring and things like that. I do love the shape. That shape is absolutely stunning. If I was getting engaged today, I would probably choose a similar shape to this. The only thing I would say is, this ring in particular is silver, the ring itself. And... I would prefer the white gold so I think I just like the white gold better you can tell it's silver this one in particular but other than that it's absolutely perfect alternative it's really quite heavy you guys as well I'm sure that it'll get heavier the more you go up a carrot because there's loads of different options to choose from on the website but it's absolutely beautiful so the team have given me generously a discount code for you guys and that is suzy15 it will get you 15 percent off your order at readyourheart.com i will leave all the links information website and discount code in the description box as usual and finally i'd like to give a huge thank you to grace and the team for sending me over this absolute beauty and working together on this video so i'm gonna pop this away carefully because i want to shoot some more content with it later on maybe for instagram so yeah what other updates have we got oh i've had my dermatology appointment through so my actual dermatology will be going ahead like the full-on laser if you remember we did the two test patches not long ago and i was crying like a baby <laughs> Um, they did CO2 laser and a fractional, I think it was called, laser to see which one I responded to the best and my skin responded to the best. So yeah, we're going with the CO2 laser as recommended by my dermatologist. My appointment's come through already. The appointment is on the last day of November this year. So guys, I don't really want to be talking about the C word just yet, but obviously the 1st of December we're allowed to say the C word in this house. In fact, we go all out on the 1st of December. We are on full on C word mode. And um, I'm gonna look like a Burns victim. So yeah, that's really, really unfortunate, but it's just how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. And we'll get through it. I'm not gonna hide it. Obviously I have to film for YouTube, but I'm probably gonna have dressings all over my face. To be fair though, the two little test patches they did I healed within a week, so he is praying that we heal quickly when the time comes. They've given me a load of um, numbing cream as well, so that um, I don't cry like a baby like I did last time. <laughs> so I'm going to numb myself to high heavens. I'm not going to be able to feel my face for weeks. <laughs> oh, you guys, as if we haven't addressed these gorgeous pajamas i'll leave them linked down be below but they are shein pajamas and they're such good quality and i've just not seen any as nice as this lately i'm always on the hunt for like new pajamas socks all the cozy stuff for the autumn season and i've been keeping my eye out for some new pajamas and i've just not found any that i loved and then i saw these and i thought oh my god i need them in my life they're really really good to say they're from shein you know yeah, they're just a full shirt, boyfriend pyjamas and full trousers as well. And they do them in all different kinds of colours. I'll link them down below and I'll also pop on the screen a little cutaway clip what they look like full on because, you know, I like to film my outfits this time of year, including pyjamas for Instagram. But yeah, I'm glad we're having a really cozy day today actually because I've come on my period and I just feel a little bit meh as usual. You know how it is. 
definitely want pasta for dinner tonight. One of them kind of <laughs> times. The world goes by and by the time it does you miss it. You didn't see it flew by. Cause time's not waiting for me or you. You will miss it if you don't catch it. In oh time. my gosh, I'll be stretchy to out. Do you need to go out for a wee wee? Okay. Okay, home updates. So this is what's been going on. I know you might be thinking you guys have not done much since we last checked in, but to be fair, we both had a rest from renovating. We just both had a rest in every sense of the word. But the updates are here as follows. As you can see, all the wood timber has now gone on the walls for the paneling. So we've got the dado rail all the way around and into the window. Guys, can I just say, I cannot wait to watch the woods out of the back of here change colour. You can see all the autumn leaves falling getting distracted by nature. Our second fix has gone up, so the lights are in situ. You can't really see, but these are the fluted glass. But they make the most gorgeous glow in the evenings. We've got two of those next to the bay window. And then, yeah, basically all the panelling's been done just recently, the other day. We've just finished the panelling and I need to get my arse in gear really and start painting this panelling. Oh, also the staircase. So, didn't we say we wanted to panel all the staircase all the way around? Well, we couldn't replicate, sorry, we could not replicate the original panelling. It was a bit like this, but really intricate. So, what we've done is tongue and grooved it. It's also known as shiplap, and it's a style of panelling, like panels and it's got the grooves in you'll see more when it's been painted because obviously this is just raw wood it's not been painted yet but this wall here was a stud wall remember that used to be the entrance into the rest of the house before we knocked this wall through that's the way you would come in now behind there is our toilet cloak room but you access it from in that room so we closed it all up on here so that it's you've just got the snug lounge and the staircase view and then you go through to the family rooms through there but yeah we decided on shiplap paneling i just feel like shiplap paneling looks really really characterful in small areas around the house it's dead easy to do and we've put a trim a bit of dado rail as well to trim it off as well so it looks finished but once all that's been painted we're going to paint it in this vlog as well once all that's been painted in it's just going to look so good we're painting it in white but i feel like with the tongue and groove you'll see the shadows and it'll just look really textured but basically we wanted that panelling of the staircase to go all the way around and into that stud wall so that the whole thing looked like the staircase and now it does. Let me just switch you around so I can see you. But yeah, this shiplap, I will say, costs a little bit of money. At the moment, raw materials cost quite a bit of money. So the panelling, um, the shiplap panelling and the other panelling in this room costs quite a bit of money to do because of the cost of raw materials at the moment. However, there's some things in this renovation that are non-negotiables, we've been calling them. And yeah, some things we can save on and we will compromise with, like furniture, I look for thrifted furniture. I look for thrifted furniture on like Facebook. So we're gonna save in areas like that in the styling of the house later on. But 
the panelling for a house like this to restore the period features like panelling it's just non-negotiable in my opinion yeah i just feel like the panelling is one of the period features that are gonna eventually sell this house oh also we've got our light up so this light is let me turn you back around and show you <laughs> It looks like it's on the wonk at the moment, that light. That looks wonky to me for some reason. Let me just come from this side and see. I don't know why, but it looked wonky. Anyway, this is the Burford light. It's in aged brass and it's got these white linen shades and it hangs from a chain. You don't have to have it hanging from a chain, but I like that look. And this is from Next. Now it does look white, but we put in warm bulbs. So at night when it is lit up, it's a warm glow and it makes the shades look more of a, a warmer neutral color rather than white. But I feel like that's absolutely gorgeous. So this is the over mantle and I haven't really finished it. It's a work in progress. I just need to be in the mood, but I think it's looking all right, you guys. And he's cleaning up and like working on. Hubby's gonna build in the hearth, but then for now, we're just gonna stack it with loads of logs to fill that fireplace, just so it looks finished until we choose a tile, because guys, we just can't decide on a tile for this fireplace. And I feel like sometimes you've got to live in the room with it mostly styled before you make some decisions. But yeah, we're gonna paint all this paneling in and then get it all filled in and coked. And then we are ready to choose some flooring, you guys. Oh, I didn't say the paneling will be going up the stairs as well, as you can see, and we've dado railed all up there and the whole of the landing as well. But we're only going to do the paneling at the bottom of the dado rail along the landing and in the stairs if that makes any sense so that's still to do as well and then the dado rail comes all the way around here and into this lounge area so this will be the lounge area here uh coffee table fireplace open plan to the kitchen diner and then you'll go through there to the downstairs clock room. So this is the view as you come through to the family room and you'll have a sofa here, coffee table, fireplace here. And then the dining table is gonna be more over this side, but obviously we've got all this building stuff at the moment. Can we just appreciate as well, the light coming through this room in the morning it's so lovely in here. I'm gonna spend most of my time in these rooms during the day, you see, and then back through here into the snug room in the evening. So this is more of a formal room, cozy vibes. And what updates have we got for you in here? What's changed? Oh, the shelf has gone up on the back wall there next to the island. You'll have to excuse all the mess. I've not cleaned up yet today. But basically, this shelf, let me get a different view for you. This is the view from the island and the shelf is now up at the back. So we're back up here in the bedroom, which also doubles up as our lounge at the moment. Do you know what, guys? I would have loved to have had like the lounge done by this time in the year downstairs, but unfortunately, during renovations, just things don't run on time sometimes. And like I said, we've been having a real break, which was well needed. So it's okay. We're going to do the autumn decorate with me still. It's not a full autumn decorate with me video though because obviously we've only got a few rooms that we can decorate so we've got this bedroom here which we've got a lovely fireplace to decorate in a moment so we're going to do that in a minute and then we're going to decorate bits of the kitchen as well we need to get out all our autumn decor from the garage i forgot what i've got i do this every year can't wait to get that box out because i forgot what i've got I do have some decor that I want to decorate this fireplace with. It's actually new stuff that I've just recently bought. So I've got 
a home interior decor video coming in the next video am i making any sense <laughs> oh also can we just address the outfit of the day dressed appropriately for this video we've got all the cozy autumn feels this is a gorgeous cable knitted hooded lounge set and joggers so it's got hoodie and joggers to match super high-waisted as well it's like all the cozy autumn feels and my wardrobe was just lacking something you know for around the house the cozy autumn vibes and i just thought it's the perfect outfit for today's video as well so yeah dressed appropriately i'm all coffeeed out spiced pumpkin latte out so by all means pause this video and go and grab yourselves a cozy hot drink We've also got some cosy autumn ambience on the TV behind me. So what is that? We've got a cabin. No, sorry. We've got a lake house, an autumnal lake house with a roaring fire and rain and all the autumn leaves. And it's got the sound on as well. I don't know if you can hear it. And so, yeah, I love these, like, autumn ambiances on the TV in the background. Do you know what they're brilliant for as well? Because you can do them seasonally. It's nice to have on in the background, like, when you've got guests, something like this. It just gives, like, ambiance to the room. So, yeah, we've got that on. Oh, also, I chose some bedside tables, finally, and I think they're going to be arriving today. I did buy them over the bank holiday weekend in August, so I think they've been caught up in the shipping system, you know what it's like, for postage and courier services on bank holiday. But yeah, they should be coming in this vlog anyway, so we're going to unbox them together at some point. Yeah, let's start with the fireplace, shall we? This one is leather and cedar. Oh my God, it smells amazing. It's really oody, woody and oody and masculine and like leather. Do you remember last year when I was saying like, why don't they do leather candles, leather smelling candles? Like I would literally buy them. Well, these ones, the luxury collection are from Lidl and I picked them up when I'm in Lidl because they're about four pounds, two wick. As you can see, I've already started burning it because I just can't wait, can I? And yeah, that's the final touch. Obviously, we might add some pumpkins to this area. Once we've got the pumpkins out, I've not bought any new pumpkins um, just recently because I don't want to overdo it with the pumpkins. I think sometimes we can overkill, like pumpkin everything. Like it's too much. Ta-da! Okay, let me just get you guys down and I'll talk you through, walk you through what we've done so far. So this is what we're looking like so far. And these logs, they're just kindling fire logs. They're from um, Home Bargains, actually. They're about a five or a bag. And obviously, there are four real fires. But as you all know, we've not got a real fire here in the bedroom. But we still salvaged the fireplace and kept the hole in the wall where the fireplace was. We thrifted the fire surround, if you remember, from Facebook Marketplace for like 30 quid. The point I'm trying to make is you can have a fireplace in your bedroom. You don't even need the hole in the wall where the fire was. Like you can just put a fire surround on the wall anywhere in your bedroom. Also, can I just say that <laughs> them logs, <laughs> it doesn't look a lot and we need to fill the hole of that hole in the wall and yeah i'm gonna need a lot more logs um but i'll just pick them up as i go along we might add some more candles and pumpkins on the bottom so we'll get them out later 
but let's just look at the garland so i picked this up from the range and i just love how it looks so i've gone with the green eucalyptus because they have some fabulous like autumnal ones but you'll only be able to use them in autumn do you know what i mean yeah whereas this one we can add pumpkins to it and add things to it and take them away like for the spring so i can use it all through the seasons and to be fair i just prefer the green over the autumnal oranges we've got the leather cedar candle burning and then we've got my church candles now these are out all year round so they're not like part of the decorate with me for autumn i have these around the house everywhere i just think you can't be a simple church candle so these ones are from Amazon, they're battery powered and they've actually got a remote control so you can just like switch them on and they've got this really nice glow. They've got real wax coating as well so they look really like real and you don't have to worry about setting your bedroom on fire. This is what we look like sat on the end of my bed. So what I'm going to do is, because obviously it's during the day and it's quite a sunshiny and autumnal day today, I'm going to come back to this and show you it at night time with the like evening vibes. Also, can we just stop and appreciate this little boy sleeping? Oh my gosh, my little boy. You sleepy boy, you go to sleep. Yeah, you like the sound of that rain, don't you? I know. He's a cozy autumn boy, guys. He likes to wear a jumper. Shall we get you some new jumpers? Oh, here she is in her painting gear. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm about to paint the Tongan groove under the stairs. So time to get the white paint out again. No secrets around here. Oh, and also, if I've got to do it, you've got to do it as well. I'm just obsessed I need to stop it I need to stop spending because I'm getting into this little bit of a vicious cycle shall we say and I'm noticing it so that's really good isn't it kudos to me but in my mind I'm just thinking like you're buying pre-loved you've not got a shopping habit <laughs> but I'm still buying yeah it's a shopping habit nonetheless whether you're buying pre-loved or not. So I think I need to delete the app. Once these orders have arrived, okay, I'll delete the app, I promise. <laughs> yeah, so I've just picked up this really nice coat from, let me pop it on and show you. This really nice coat from M&S. Obviously bought it via Vinted. 
and I'm sure I got it for less than a tenner. So it's really good quality because it's M&S. And it's in this gorgeous foresty emerald green. I'll show it you in a better light in a minute. It's just a full wool coat and sleeves. It's not a trench, but it has got a bell. I don't know if you can see that there, guys. Can you see that? Let me just pop you down so you can see. That's a bit better, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, and what a bargain, another bargain. That's what I just keep telling myself and my husband, what a bargain. <laughs> anyway, I love this colour. If you haven't already guessed, this is a massive colour in my autumn winter palette this year. It's that forest green. It's actually a little bit emeraldy. I will show you some cutaway clips of it in full, in better lighting as well, because I have been filming outfits more for Instagram because as you all know I love autumn winter fashion the most and like I said I just come alive this year with fashion with everything sorry guys I keep looking in the viewfinder because I'm really aware that we're really funny coloured with the light in the um it's one of them days where it's sun shining and then it's grey again it's then perfect well they're not perfect autumn days because the perfect autumn day would be blue skies and a bit of a chill in the air and the leaves are all brown that's my perfect autumn day. However, it's one of them typical autumn days, shall we say, where the sun's coming and going and coming and going. <laughs> anyway, I'm aware that we look a bit weird. So let me just turn the lights off in the background. Is that a bit better? It's a little bit better, isn't it? It is what it is. Just remind me never to take time off again because all I've been doing is shit posting <laughs> on social media. <laughs> I've been resting as well and doing all the good stuff. But um, yeah, I've been shitposting on social media and buying things. So not very good for the bank balance. So I'm glad to be back at work, to be honest with you. Anyway, finally, <laughs> I picked up some, as you can see, Ugg boots. Yeah, I thought I'd show you these as well because I'm going to film with these on in a minute for Instagram. So I'll unbox them with you now. You might have already seen these on my instagram reels i have to do an unboxing on there as well but i bought the classic let me just get rid of the box the classic chestnut brown ugg boots and they are the ultra mini i think they'll go better with my accessories and just my wardrobe in general really i anticipate i will get a lot of wear out of these which is why i bought them new normally i would encourage you and myself to buy them secondhand on vintage people are selling like really worn down uggs for like still like they're trying to get like 80 quid for them and there's no tread left on them and i just think it's a bit ridiculous and i thought the amount of times i'm probably going to wear them throughout the autumn winter because i feel like they go with everything but yeah i feel like the amount of wear i will get out of these the cost per wear is going to be next to nothing so i might as well buy them new yeah so i'm gonna set up camera now and film an outfit reel with my new coat from M&S and my Ugg boots as well and I'll pick you back up when we've finished. Anyway we're just at the petrol station because we're going to the stone merchants this morning picking some stone for the fireplace in the lounge. <laughs> Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my arms give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of just feel really flipping embarrassed <laughs> not gonna lie because this was meant to be 
back to YouTube vlog and I wanted it to be the annual autumn decorate with me video and we find ourselves right now currently speaking in the middle of a heat wave in September nobody could have predicted this but filming autumn content in this heat wave even watching autumn content in this heat wave just feels really really cringy and I'm just cringing out my own skin <laughs> And to be honest with you, it serves us all right, doesn't it? For trying to bring autumn too soon and now we look really, really silly with all this autumn content, don't we? Anyway, I'm here with this gorgeous chocolate brown linen. This is 100% linen shirt dress. It's actually a long line shirt. I'm wearing it as a dress today, just like belted around the waist. And I've got some cowboy boots on as well. And they're both new items from vinted and i know you guys will have seen my recent vinted haul i think that was the last video i've been picking up some really good bits from vinted still obsessed still shopping on the app still haven't deleted the app i need to do it anyway the point i'm trying to make is i've been still ordering from vinted i've been picking up some wonderful pieces for my autumn wardrobe autumn winter wardrobe so even though you've just had a vinted haul from me in the last video if you haven't seen it go and check it out um there will be another one coming up really soon because i've just got a whole haul again <laughs> and uh this is going to be included in it this is from gap just quickly and it was three pounds with the tag still on it and it's a hundred percent linen and it couldn't have come at a better time because that's all i want to wear in this like heat wave weather so yeah anyway back on the subject of content this was meant to be an autumnal decorate with me video but we're still like a quarter through this renovation and there's not many rooms to decorate so we've done the fireplace together didn't we at the start of this vlog when the weather was really autumnal and um i will bring out some more pieces throughout this video but it was meant to be a sporadic video anyway and you know what that's why i really love these vlogs because you just get to live your day-to-day -day life so like if i'd have planned that full autumn video which I would have normally done if the house was finished I wouldn't have been able to choose any other content to put out to you guys if we had the heat wave and I felt a bit silly putting cozy content out but because we're on vlogs because we're living through the renovation it doesn't matter I can just say today we're in a heat wave and I feel a bit silly because you know we've got cozy content out and things like that so um yeah let me know, you guys, if you would prefer more than one vlog a week. Because at the moment, I'm only giving you guys one renovation vlog on a Sunday evening. And yeah, looking at the stats, you guys really enjoy the vlogs. So let me know in the comments if you want me to just continue with vlogs more than anything. But I wanted to show you my new bedside tables. They're right here. How nice are these? So these bedside tables, they're from Dunelm and they're actually really nice walnut colour. They've come up a little bit darker than they show on the picture. I'm going to pop the picture of them on the website on the screen for you now. So I wanted them because of this oak design and as you can see, it's got all the grains of wood in. They're absolutely stunning and I don't mind that they've come a little bit darker than what they've been advertised as. So yeah, they're in this walnut shade and I just love them. So they look absolutely stunning, but if you do like these, I'll link them down below, but they're not the, the greatest of quality. The beautiful bedside tables, don't get me wrong. I'm absolutely in love with them, but I don't want you to be surprised when they arrive because like they're not proper oak. I think it's like an oak, an oak finish, but it's actually like MDF. So like flat pack furniture that you get from Ikea, that kind of a style. But yeah, even the insides have been like made to look like wood. So they look really aesthetic when you open them up as well. Do you know what I mean? When you get the flat pack furniture and the inside's white. I don't like that. But yeah, this design is absolutely beautiful. So as you can see from the picture, they come with black knobs. I went on to Amazon and Etsy looking for some vintage, excuse me, some vintage drawer pulls and I found these gorgeous vintage brass 
door pulls. So we ordered them and do you know what? They come in a pack of six or nine. So we got six in a pack, which really pleased me because <laughs> we needed exactly six. And then hubby just built the drawers and put these knobs on instead of the black ones that they originally come with. And I just think they look so expensive. So we're gonna pop these um, in situ together. <laughs> because the room's so big that little bedside tables like this like the standard size would look um a little bit lost because obviously the ceiling all the way up there anyway it's really good because i don't have to have lamps on the bedside tables that's the point of having them hanging from the ceiling so we do need to style them up and we're going to do that together i have got some styling pieces in mind so we're going to take a trip to home sense tk max to see if they've got any of the items i'd like to style these bedside tables with so we'll do that together how easy it would be to fall for you but that of course is something i won't do Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be to put this friendship to an end How crazy that would be Yet here I am Falling in love Again Ash won't just have a salad like he can't he needs like a proper meal <laughs> he doesn't think a salad's a meal he's like that's a side dish um so i made gourmet burgers i made southern fried chicken burgers and i put like <clears throat> crispy smoked bacon on the top i melted the cheese on top of the chicken I did skin on fries before they went in the oven, I put paprika all over them and some extra olive oil so they were super crispy and like seasoned. Oh my God, they were delicious. I made my own signature garlic cracked black pepper mayonnaise, which is amazing. I need to make more of that actually, it's so yummy. 
Yeah, and we just had a really good day, me and Hubby. Oh, I actually filmed, didn't I, a clip in the stone merchant's yard. So yeah, we chose some stone for the fireplace in the snug room. So I'm gonna go and show you that actually in a minute because he's put it in that day. And no, he did put it in that day. <laughs> he put it in the day after because I went out for brunch with my friend the day after. Anyway, yeah, we took Ralphie with us as well. So we had him with us. We went for a little walk around uh, one of the not so local parks actually. And it's got this big hall and grounds. And unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of that because they, they had scaffolding works up and they was like protecting it and doing something to it. And it's like a really old listed building, but otherwise it would have been beautiful. Maybe we'll go back in the autumn. We said, let's go to the pub. Let's go and find a pub that allows dogs in. Cause we never do that. Anyway, we found one of our locals that has a really nice garden and they allow dogs. So we sat and had lunch. I had like, um, a chicken. Oh, it was delicious. I had a chicken bacon Caesar salad an avocado yeah i had a lager and lime and it went down a tree oh my god it was delicious just a little half pie but anyway we had a really lovely day let's go and show you that um stone fireplace in there Ta-da! so that is the stone that we chose from the stone merchants and it's really old stone from somewhere obviously pre-loved they've took it from somewhere else I don't know if you can see that properly but the rusticness of this stone is just beautiful and yeah I wanted to bring the outside in in this room it just makes it look really like heavy and substantial like it's been there for 100 years obviously we're going to need to um cement the gap there in the middle which we're going to do next and hubby's now popped in the dado rail which goes into the fireplace the fireplace surround the over mantle is now fully fixed on as well so the plan is to just do what we did in the bedroom upstairs we're going to paint the brick spray it white so that it all ties in and then like i said we're just going to stack this fireplace inside with logs for now and i think that that's a really good way of styling it up before we choose any tiles because we can't choose tiles and it's a big job isn't it like and we don't want to be changing them so we're going to do the room up and then if we want to add tile afterwards we can do yeah i can't wait guys to start styling up this room properly we're nearly there we've still got a lot of touching up to do with the panelling it still needs to get coked and final coats of paint as you can see just little bits like this need sorting out the sockets need to go on the front face of the sockets <clears throat> but we're getting there and yeah the reasoning again behind that fireplace was i'm trying to bring the outside in so i want this room to like replicate the woods i want this to be like a woodland room not a woodland room but I want the colours of the woodland in this room. I hope that's making some sense because sometimes it's really hard to um, help people to understand my imagination. <laughs> and if I'm not making any sense, then you'll see, guys, you'll see. So as you can see, we've got the old furniture out of the garage and look, look what's haunting me. They're bloody haunting me, these sofas, these crushed velvet sofas we've got an armchair out because i think hubby was just sick to death of not having somewhere to plonk himself you're happy about it aren't you so we've got the old sofa out and um i might just get some covers to cover them because they look awful don't they that crushed velvet in this hundred year old house doesn't make any sense <laughs> and they're haunting me <laughs> they're just haunting aren't they they're awful what was i even thinking Oh my gosh, my Ralphie boy. <laughs> but you guys, I think we're ready to start looking at some floors. Actually, that's a good job to be getting on with this afternoon. I'm going to order some samples of flooring. And yeah, I think we should do that next because we're ready for flooring, I think, very, very soon. And I want a really nice oak flooring, but I'll be able to pop some samples like this next to the stonework here and see what it'll look like but you can already tell because this fireplace I've made it to look like an oak effect 
and you can see how well it goes with that stone so it'll warm this room up loads will like an oak style flooring won't it also i've been really procrastinating this front door i really need to be getting on with it now um we have had some more paint stripper on it i think we finally got down to the bare bones of it but um it's going to take some sanding and then also i need something really really strong to get in this window and to clean up these like edges inside these windows and we're gonna have to do it really really carefully because obviously this is lead and then these little panes of glass are like literally little panes of glass we've already got a crack there we didn't do that it was already there so we'll have to get that fixed in the future but um yeah i don't know what color to do the front door i might just do it in the slipper satin because i've got some and then we can change it in the future can't we 